Well, th this week, the family of Stephen Bear Crane settled a lawsuit that alleged racial discrimination in a 2005 shooting death of a Native American. As Q2's Russ Riesinger reports, while the FBI admits no fault, Bear Crane's family hopes its voices and other voices will be heard. 23. He was 23. He just had a really um, contagious smile that when he smiled at you, you had to smile back. And Stephen cared, he, even for his coworkers, even Bob, the shooter. It has been over 15 years since Stephen Bear Crane was shot to death at a ranch house on the Crow Indian Reservation in the southeast corner of Yellowstone County. His mother, father, and other family members haven't stopped fighting for justice for him since. It, it was a, it's been a long, long road, a path of justice that's filled with hurt, that's filled with frustration. Bear Crane had earned a reputation as a horse whisperer, breaking horses on the ranch where both he and the man who shot him worked. The shooter, who was a friend of Bear Crane's, claimed the night of Bear Crane's death that Bear Crane was drunk and attacked him and that he fired in self-defense. No charges were ever filed in the case. Bear Crane's family had numerous problems with the investigation. They say the BIA wasn't notified till hours later and the key evidence was ignored. And in an affidavit, another ranch hand claimed she was told that a knife had been planted and that when she tried to tell the FBI agent what else she knew, he put the blame on Bear Crane, saying, quote, Indians can't hold their liquor. I was angry. I was angry for him not wanting to listen, for him already having his mind made up. Um, that we just, we had to pursue this because of that. Bear Crane's family will now get a chance to meet with high-ranking officials from the U.S. Department of Justice and the FBI under the settlement to finally voice their concerns. A, a face with a voice, I think, will say much more and let them know, you know, that wrong was done to us and you can't take it back, but you can move forward and help other people. That's, that's what our goal has been, was to help others to so they don't have to go through what we did. Bear Crane's family says their ultimate hope is that there would still be charges filed in this case, but after many years of frustrations, they say they are grateful that at least their voice will finally be heard. Janelle, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Russ.